Hey there. So, for today's spooky movie, I am watching Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. The only things that I know about this movie are, at least actually I don't know anything, I'm assuming everything, is that it's a horror and a comedy. The way that people talk about it, people say it's hilarious, people say it's scary, so I'm assuming it's either a really bad, hilariously bad horror film, or it's a comedic horror film. I'm pretty sure there's zombies in it because I just have a gut feeling. There's a few films that are in this kind of, like, space for me and I feel like they all have zombies and that's just where I'm going I don't know anything about this movie I'm going into this completely blind and a lot of people have recommended it so you know what we're doing it we're watching this um if you're new to the channel welcome thank you so much for being here I hope I genuinely hope you enjoy the video and if by the end you do and you do want to see the full length commentary you know completely unedited the link to my patreon will be down below in the description and if by chance you're interested in also anime commentary, I have a separate anime channel called Vukunime, so I'll be linking that in the description if you're interested in that. So without further ado, let's get into Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Uh, let me get nice and comfy. Okay. 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 Alright, um, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go ginormous pictures. Sure we should be doing this, this is still a crime scene. Sack up, Billy. It's called investigative journalism for a reason. Police miss something here, I can feel it. It's definitely a comedy, just by how they're talking. <laughs> oh! What the heck? Oh! Sit! Oh! 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 What was this made? Was this 2000s? <laughs> so are they like Southern? What is this music? I'm gonna throw a <laughs> West Virginia. Up, yeah, guys, this is my dad's car. If I go any faster, he will kill me. Shit! There's one other car on the road, and he almost hit it. We are in hillbilly country now, boys. It's that. Oh, it's um the girl from Thirty Rock. She was. She's in Thirty Rock. I'm in a car full of morons. No, if we were morons, we wouldn't have thought to bring this. You are a genius. Hey, speed up, man. They're gonna pass us. Oh, jeez. Whoa, Jesus. They just want you to pass the weeds. Did you see the way those guys looked at us? Hey guys! There's another one back there? We forgot the beer. No! Definitely a comedy. 100%. That child just filling up his pail of beer. Okay, so we already have a horror movie trope. A bunch of uh, douchebags with like hot girls. And they're all idiots. We hit like five tropes. Is that Alan Tudyk? Can I help you? <laughs> what is he doing in this movie? <gasps> Beers in the back. Three quarter inch nails, hacksaw, bailing hooks. Hey Chad, do we need more bucks? Chad? <laughs> Let's get out of here. This place is so creepy. Yeah, we need anything else. Pickled eggs. Six pounder. I thought there were eggs too. Oh my god. Oh, Please tell me there's no shell. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? It's just your average college girls. Nothing average about that. She's just human. Why don't you go over there and talk to her? Offer her a pickled egg. Tell her that she got a vacation home. These are college girls, okay? They grew up with vacation homes and guys like me fixing their toilets. You are a good looking man, more or less. You got a damn good heart. Yep. What, what's the worst that can happen? You're right, Tuck. I'm gonna do it. All right. Is he gonna kill her with a scythe? Just smile and laugh. That shows confidence. It's gonna sound like he's gonna murder her. A hundred and ten percent. And I cannot wait to see his pickup line. You guys, uh, going camping? <laughs> we don't want any trouble, all right? So just oh, help back oh, off. I hate Chad. Okay, I'm sorry. Get in the truck. It's like a good looking cooler. <laughs> That's terrible. This poor guy, he just didn't have confidence. He didn't know how to socialize. That's so sad. I feel bad. Maybe, maybe bringing a scythe. I hate my face. It, it's not your, it's the fact that you brought a scythe over to them while trying to pick them up. I can't talk to the lady folk the way you can. I just act like a big fat idiot. You got an inferiority complex. No, I don't. Let me tell you something. Life is short. You got to go after what you want. That's true, I reckon. Oh, shit. We got a cop. Oh, I got you. Oh, no, and they're drinking. They're drinking. You're going to smell like beer. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to look like they're... Oh, mm, mm. No, it's stuck on my sleeve. I'm trying to... 
Howdy, officer. Hey. License, please. Temporary. Where are you two headed? We are headed to our vacation home up by Morris Lake. Maybe do a little fishing. Do a little fishing. There ain't nothing up there but pain and suffering on a scale you can't even imagine. What the f What happened to you, officer? Who hurt you? I pulled you over because you got a broken turn signal. Get that fixed. That was very helpful. Bye. He was jealous because he can't afford a place of his own. Well, here's the good life, huh? Oh, yeah. So this is a movie where Alan Tudyk is like a redneck. He's, he's, he's like a, a, he's a West Virginian. I can't grasp the feel of this movie so far. Is this not where Evil Dead was built? <laughs> Is this not the same cabin? We, why can't I escape the same setup? Oh my god. It's perfect. All right, let's go check it out inside. Yeah. It's a mansion. <laughs> <gasps> uh, whoever used to live here must have been a, an archaeologist or something. Yeah. My arch yeah. <laughs> it's definitely an archaeologist. Not a murderer at all. So this person had all this stuff in here and just, they never removed all the evidence of the murders <laughs> or being creepy. I cannot believe that I am standing in my own vacation home right now. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh. Well, I guess we should fix that. Yeah, that's a good idea. It looks like this house is trying to kill them. You can get off of me now. Hey, if you have a recurring dream about sucking a dick, but you never do it, are you gay? Yes. yes. I hate college students. And you fuckers want to hear a real story? Lot from you, Chad. Thanks. I'm surprised he doesn't have layered polos with all popped collars. Right in these very woods. It was 20 years ago today. <laughs> what the? This man's. Just like us. They came out here to have a good time. And they weren't the only one. See, this is my kind of party standing in the woods and listening to <laughs> the jam. <laughs> no, it's a good song. You put that back on. If you put in Cotton Eye Joe. Hey, man, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, put that back on. No, no, no this is cool. This is cool. I like this. What? The guy looks like Alan Tudyk. <laughs> the rest of them just disappeared, and their bodies are buried beneath us. There's a lake back there. Who wants to go skinny dipping? All right. So, I'm not getting get naked. I, oh, honestly, I wouldn't be able to do that because it's like lakes and they're filled with bacteria and... That's okay, Tuck, you, you take that, that's yours. See, that's why you're never gonna get ahead in life. That's because you don't stick up for yourself. Do Ow. not even think about it. God, are you serious? Hello? Someone there? One of the idiots getting naked or something. Oh my god, Chad, what the hell are you doing? Oh, it's just Chad. It's always Chad. It's totally freaking me out. You know, you can drop the act now. Like, you're better than everyone else. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you do. But that's okay. You are better than everyone else. You and I, Allie, are cut from a different cloth. <sighs> Not that's <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, stop. Why? Why? Why stop? Let's talk about this later. I'm gonna go catch up with everyone. Allie, come on. I don't know. I think we should go check it out. Don't! Oh my god. My guess would be that they don't really want to see us right now. Yeah. <laughs> no. I would agree with that. What? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh. Tucker! When you see a college girl prancing around in front of you half naked, you do not yell out my name. <laughs> she didn't come up yet. Did she die? Hey! Oh, 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 oh. oh no, oh no, she's gonna be so spooked. Come on. Ah, we got your friend! They got Allison! <laughs> They're so stupid! No matter, no, Tucker, we gotta get her back to the cabin, come on! Hillbillies. Or hillbillies. Hillbillies from the store. That zoom was amazing. It was gold. Don't, don't, don't cry. It's the pancakes. You hate pancakes. I'm, I'm going to make you something else. Pancakes. 
Oh, that's so nice of him. But it looked like one of the guys was eating her face off. Guys, not to sound too cliche, but shouldn't we go to the police? Yeah, and what, just leave Allison with them? We don't need the police. Nope, that's, you should totally go to the police. Fine, you wanna go, Chuck, then just go. I'll be back in a jiffy. What is he gonna go? Better come look at this. It's just a cabin. It doesn't mean they're psycho killers. Then why don't you go in there and talk to them? Maybe I will. I said maybe. Why is he wearing like a mechanic shirt? He really made her something else. That's so sweet. <clears throat> what am I doing here? Oh, you don't, you don't remember? Okay, uh, me and Tucker brung you here. You were about to go swimming with your friends and then you climbed up onto a bunch of rocks and you slipped and fell and banged your head and then you fell into the water. I uh, dove in and rescued you. You were spying on us? N no. I swear to God, no, no, we were out there fishing. Where are my friends? They ran off. They just left. Yep. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have any girly clothes, so. I never really had much fashion sense anyway. Me neither. Oh, that, oh that's Drangers. That's my dog, Drangers. You can just pat him around Aww. the nose. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Dale. I'm Allison. My, my, my friends call me Allie. Do you guys have anything to, to do around here? Do you like board games? What kind do you have? Trivia up. No way, dude. You lost. Just shut up and walk, bitch. Shut up, Chad. If you're such a... Alpha, why don't you go in yourself? You're just a popped collar, you asthma. Can't talk, I have asthma too. But he's like, yeah. And then takes a hit of his inhaler. Uh. Definitely not the right time to, oh no, to cut down trees. This is terrible. Did he not, he's looking into it. Did he not look down? Terrible that could happen has been going on. This is amazing. Why is he running in the direction of this child with a chainsaw? <laughs> he just impaled himself? Bro. Bro. Oh my god. Here we go. Big roll. Who was the fifth president of the United States? Oh, that's too easy. That's James Monroe. God, you were right again. You were killing me. I got this weird brain where I'm dumb as a stump, but I remember everything that I ever heard. That's amazing, yeah. I barely even made it past the third grade. There's a difference between education and intellect. Yeah. <clears throat> what is it that you study in college? I'm getting my bachelor's degree in psychology. I just always thought that I'd... I'd make a really good therapist. No, don't, don't! My parents say the same thing. I should... No, no, the, the, the chair. That beam is a little bit rickety. Hey, hey. That's all into a bee's nest. Why? Well, I didn't do it on purpose, <laughs> you idiot. Oh, he's mad. He's really mad. We came out here to work. Why would you do th It was my fault. I suckered him into playing. No, that's not true. It was my fault. Be careful, be careful. I really got you. I saw your friend out there. He must be allergic to bees or something because he was running like a bat out of hell. I should go out there and find him. No, no, that's no. We'll, we'll go find your friends. You should relax. Tucker and Dale are on the case. Are, are the college kids the evil? My friends can be kind of judgmental. I know, I'm going to let Tucker do most of the talking anyway. He can win over just about anybody, can't you, Tucker? Real people person. I mean, but he has a bunch of... Okay, here we go. You just relax, okay? He, he looks intimidating, is what I'll say. The look doesn't really help. They left his body here as a message. Yeah, with this thing, okay? It doesn't work out here. <clears throat> Why do you have to smash it, Chad? This is what it's you all need to call about. The police. It's us against them. <laughs> he just carries an axe around. Somebody's coming. Oh, shit. When we get back, I'll finish her off real quick and then we'll get back to work. College kids! <gasps> Say it again. College kids! Hey, college kids! I don't... They look so intimidating! <laughs> Maybe we could leave them a note in case they come back. Right, with what? Well, this will work. We got your friend. He's just stating a fact. A hundred percent one of them is gonna fall into a wood chipper. In the wood chipper. A hundred percent. Did you guys find my friends? Your friends? No, no. Well, we left them a note. They, they should be by here any minute. What are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm digging a shitter hole. I'm, I'm digging a crap crapper hole. It's a, it's a hole. Outhouse hole. <laughs> the outhouse! You mind if I help? What? No, 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 no. It's not work for a, a pretty, for a girl like you. That's, oh. I grew up on a farm. 
Oh, they really are hitting it off. I love that. We're just gonna stand there staring at me. Uh, no, I'm gonna help. I'll just. I can't I'll... dig this on my own. One of those kids are gonna trip into the wood chipper, and I'm gonna be devastated because it's not Chad. It's gonna be. I'm gonna predict green shirt, or the girl Somebody with the the, the black hair. No, no, no. Blonde hair or green shirt is gonna fall into the wood chipper. She's too clumsy. Look at her. She can't even stand. She's wearing heels in the woods. Who who does that? No! No! Hey, look, your friends are here! Hey! Why do they keep impaling themselves? These idiots! Oh my god! What is wrong with them? Kid. He just hooked himself right into the wood chipper. What? Head first right into the wood chipper. <laughs> you really did. What the hell happened to her? She got knocked down, fell into a shitter hole right next to me. One of those suckers <laughs> came running out of nowhere and speared herself straight through the gut and died right on top of me, Todd. You're so bad at everything. I know what this is. This is a suicide pact. I think they're trying to kill her too. Think about it. That's why they acted so funny after we saved her because they want her dead. We go to the police. Tell them what? Oh, tell them what happened. It's a good idea, Dale. We've had a doozy of a day. There we were minding our own business when kids started killing themselves all over my property. <laughs> it is. They wouldn't believe him though. So what the hell do we do then? We gotta clean this mess up. Chloe, it's not good for you. Dying isn't good for you either, but that doesn't seem to be stopping anybody. What the hell are you still doing here? We never should have come out here. I mean, whose stupid idea was this? Chad. It's always Chad, a stupid popped collar. I mean, a few little <clears throat> tiny murders. And everyone just freaks out. That sounds, I can't tell if that's Sigma male or Alpha male, like terrible mentality. How many people do you think get a chance for something like this? What is wrong with him? There's no rules out here. It's us against them. And if you don't think you can handle that, leave. maybe you deserve to die. Or, or maybe leave. That's f***ed up. Check out the police. The cops are gonna help us, man. What the, don't you f***ing idiot. See, those three are the smart ones. Oh, we're just a little misunderstanding, that's all. Oh, God! Help us! Stay calm. Climb in the back seat. Is Chad, is he going through some, like, mental crisis right now? This car had better not charge me for this. Yep. All right, look, I'm gonna wedge it from that side, and you pull him out uh, on three. Okay. Three! <laughs> Why would you drag it across? Oh my gosh, why would you drag it across his face? Why? Why, why, why? Grab a leg. Okay. Get him over the truck. Oh, oh god. This is bad. This is real bad. We have had a doozy of a day. There we were. Yep. Minding our own business. These kids started killing themselves all over my property. They might be trying to kill the girl that we have inside. You've got another one inside and you say she's unconscious? Yeah, maybe wording it better. Right this way, let's show them. Okay, on, let's show them. Wait, 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 where's it going? Why doesn't he fucking arrest them? He's curious. Well, she's not brain dead. I told you boys to stay away from this place. Now you're looking at least two counts of involuntary manslaughter. Officer, do we look like a couple of psycho killers to you? Oh my God, the place that they live in. Oh. Looks can be deceiving. Oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, Sheriff, no, I knew. <sighs> he looks like he's gonna walk it off. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> He's gonna walk it off. Walk off the, the nails in his head. And you're... Oh, <laughs> Got Chad. Chad up to no good. Yep, he has a gun. He's gonna. Heads up. You gotta take the safety off on the side there. He's so nice. <laughs> if it wasn't for you. Don't blame him. For being such a goddamn good Samaritan. Oh my God, she's drowning. Oh, let's save her. Well, Help. none of this would have happened if we hadn't have gone fishing. I don't even like fishing. You don't like... What do you mean you don't like fishing? Uh, uh... That's the most serious part. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tucker. Did I hurt your feelings? Yeah, you kind of did. There's kids trying to kill them and they watched like four deaths happen. He's more shook up about Dale not liking fishing. 
<sighs> hey, Hilbert! <gasps> your move! They got my dog! Did you bring that nail gun in here? Stay low. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. Now you created distraction. I'm gonna go out the back door. Try not to shoot me. He's gonna shoot him. Like, I'm gonna go twice. Challenge kids! I don't think that gun has that many bullets. Jesus, Neil. This is so serious, but it's so goofy. You shoot at us again, and your dog's dead. I swear to God, I'll get really mad. They're they're so blind. They're literally blind and deaf, apparently. It is a beautiful day for a run, isn't it? You run, Alan. You you do you. How is the girl? How is the blonde girl run, gonna run? That's what I thought. This entire movie is just miscommunication and assumptions. Allison was like, "Hey, I'm going to college because everything can be avoided with communication, and everything is miscommunication. This is so chaotic. I love it." <laughs> No. All right, trap set. He's Aww. awake. What the hell is wrong with you kids? He's right. Your friend ran into a wood chipper. I've never stood so close to pure evil before. I know you kids are having fun, but I am not a thrill seeker. Here, let me go. I can get my cooler. Hey, I got 10 to 12 beers in there. They're all nice right now, man. This is for Mike. No! That is not- <gasps> Not Alan! Not Tucker! Dale? Allison, how are you feeling? A little fuzzy. What happened? Your friends are stupid. One ran to a wood chipper and the other one impaled himself on me. It was so awful. Just let it out. It's okay, right? <laughs> no, tell me what happened. Your friends. I, it's like all your friends just decided to go nuts all at the same time. Yeah, first I thought they were trying to kill you, and then they started killing themselves, and then they tried to kill us. My friends would never hurt anyone. Oh, look at Jesus, there Nobody wants to hurt you. Die, Hillbilly! Die, Hillbilly! Die, Hillbilly! Just a big misunderstanding. Perfect we'll, timing. We'll right up. Allison, don't run. You don't know what it's like out there. Oh my gosh, no. No. Did you see them? No. That's from Tucker's shirt. What is His that? His hand. <gasps> oh my god. Chad is, is psycho. He is crazy. Now we got your friend. I gotta go help Tucker. We don't want to escalate things. They must have thought that you were trying to harm me. And why would they think that? I don't know. I don't think you do know. We just thought that, that you looked up. You thought that I looked like some kind of freak. I'm, I'm really sorry. I should have known that if a guy like me talked to a girl like you, somebody would end up dead. What? That is literally the, the worst assumption. Tucker! I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought this was like the, the British horror movie version of Hot Fuzz. I really did. And this is not what I was expecting at all. Goddamn stupid college kids. Look <laughs> <laughs> out my buddy! Tucker! Yeah. Tucker! God dang stupid college kids. It's a trap. What? <laughs> no, hold on, please! Oh, no. Let's get you down from there. Wait! No. This vacation sucks. I I'll say. So the cops aren't going to investigate the fact that, like, one of their main police officers, if not the only police officer in this area, is missing? Like, oh, where was the last place he went? Look at this place. This is where evil lives. I don't know, Chad. You better look in the mirror. Chad? There's no one else here. Oh. oh. What have they done to you, Ali? Chad, this has all been a huge misunderstanding. We have to burn this place to the ground. <laughs> I hate Chad. No, 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 no. Chad. No, Chad, no. Chad, stop! This is their vacation home. Tucker and Dale did not mean to hurt anyone. They're really nice. You have no idea what this is all about. He looks like he's like, he's the lead singer of 303. Tucker and Dale have been nothing but gentlemen to me this entire time. While well, you guys have been running around terrorizing But they them. started this. Doing what? Saving my life? I remember reading about this in my sociology class. It's called the Stockholm Syndrome, when someone who's been kidnapped ends up falling in love with their kidnapper. You Is he jealous? With him? He's, oh my God, he's jealous. He's jealous. How could you love him? Tell me! <laughs> hey! Let the girl go. 
You okay, Allie? How about I make some tea and we all sit and, and talk this out? I'll provide the finger sandwiches. Sit here, okay? Does he think beer is a cure for every ailment? Is that chamomile tea? Because I can't have that. It fucked with my asthma. It's Earl Grey. Oh, I love Earl Grey. I want you each to tell your side of the story. Chad, why don't you start? A long time ago, before I was born, you see, my parents, <gasps> they were attacked by hillbillies just like him. Oh, that's what he's referring to, the evil in the woods. <laughs> my mother ran for her that. life, but they captured her. My father was helpless. But my mom, she fought back, and she escaped. But my father wasn't so lucky. Okay, that, that's really that's really messed up, actually. Like, extremely messed up. No wonder you have so much hatred in your heart, Chad. I grew up hearing that story from my grandmother. Okay, thank thank you for sharing with us. That's a, that's a lot of trauma, Chad. You should, that's, that's bad. Sorry about that. They will go longer than 15 minutes. We come in guns blazing. You don't even have a gun. Damn it, woman. Don't argue with me. Are they drinking tea? No, they're f***ing trapped. But they're good enough hosts to offer tea. So it's not really a real, it's not really a bad situation to be trapped in. I'm really sorry that your family got massacred. I didn't have anything to do with that. It may not have been you, but it was definitely your kind. I can't even hurt a fish, can I, Tucker? That's right. Okay. I feel the same way, I'm the same way. How do you feel? <sighs> I feel like a weight. Yeah, I feel good. Great. It's showtime, freak! <laughs> Jason, you idiot! Oh my god. <laughs> Who gave Chad the axe? They keep killing themselves. This is so chaotic. Crack went like a log. I knew I should have moved that. <laughs> Honey. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Tell me! Imagine you're dying and that's what- I feel like Ch Chad isn't dead. I feel like he would have survived that. I'm a terrible therapist. That's not true. Don't say that. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough. I called it. Chad is the boss. He is the boss battle. You cannot defeat Chad. I think that we should go to the pickup truck right now. Wait, wait. Maybe we should help him. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just go. Yeah, he's scary. Oh, where's the dog? Hi. Where, where's doggy? Oh, 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 oh. Do not blood it. Do you want to... This is the only thing I got left. They're gonna hate college kids after this. Dude, oh. Oh. It's not now, boy. Allison! You took her. Took her, this is all my fault. People like me and people like her just don't mix. Do you remember when we was kids and we used to go catch frogs down at that creek? I used to tell you that I'd let you catch more than me. But the thing is, okay. you caught them on your own. He, Tucker was, felt, was the one who felt inferior. Well, you instilled that idea that he wasn't. You two can on uh, a date. <laughs> so I doubt it. I don't want any more negativity. You are a good man. You're smart and you're strong and you're not as ugly as you think you are. Thank you, Tucker. She needs you now more than ever. Okay, but I, I don't even know where he took her. Jang her somehow. But I'm not leaving you here. I'll be fine. He better be. Oh, Jesus! It's <laughs> gonna hurt very much. I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. Kick the shit out of that little college d for me, would you? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now, that's been a long night, huh? You gotta let me take it from here, okay, bub? I would give him so many kisses and pets. Good boy. <laughs> what is wrong with him? You've gone hillbilly on me, Allison. Now I'm willing to forgive you, but you're gonna have to beg. Ah! Uh! That was just not a very nice apology kiss. Just stop! I'm not gonna stop. Uh. Ew, she can't just roll off the thing. Chad plays a good psychopath. I actually really give him props for that. Hero saves damsel in distress trope as well. Ellie, Ellie, hey. Dale, you, you want to help me here? Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming for me. It's time to say goodbye to the girl. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what the heck? Swinging in like Tarzan? What is this? Are you okay? Because I hate you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, kick his ass, Dale. Okay, 
Okay, that would not be that loose so quickly. It's time for you to feel my pain. Bring it, frat bitch. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I crashed that kid as tough as nails. How about we need to find some kind of weapon? <gasps> Ruin him with his asthma, I guess. Come here and look at this. Look at the guy in the middle. That looks exactly like Chad. He looks just like that Kentucky Fried College kid down there. Yeah. That was Chad's dad. He said his mother was captured and his father. And his father's mm -hmm. body was never found. I think we just found him. <laughs> Time to die, freak. Wait, wait, Chad, wait. That's your real father. You're half hillbilly. What a revelation. This is gonna destroy him. How could they? Maybe they just didn't want you to know the truth. He doesn't question the logic or anything. He just immediately believed it. How is this kid passing any college classes? That's the ingredient in chamomile tea that can cause an anaphylactic reaction in rare cases where people are allergic to it. Oh, so he was allergic to it. It doesn't just naturally make asthma. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> Did he just get impaled? How, yeah, I was gonna say, how do you explain any of this to the police? The chaos and confusion of what transpired here last night is still being unraveled. Knock, knock. Oh, he got his fingers reattached. Hey, buddy, how you feeling? Hi, I'm prescription medication. They found my fingers. Check it out. What? Why is one painted? Does it look funny to you? No, not really. It Shut your eyes, okay? All right. Open them. Oh, buddy. That's a PBR, buddy. That's a thing of beauty. I feel like you... you can't drink that on meds, right? Hey, Straw, your favorite sipping utensil. Oh, I mean, bendy for straws are superior. They really are. I'm gonna let you rest. You enjoy that, okay? Uh, Dale. Yeah. Did you ask her? Uh, I never actually got the chance, so. Dale, you are hopeless. You know that you're hopeless. No, he's with her or something. Don't worry. She kind of mentioned to me that she's a pretty darn good bowler. So we're going bowling. You little dickhead. That's such a cute. This is such a, like an unlikely love story as well. This is cute. I guess it's just beginner's luck. Listen, let me tell you something, okay? You have to go after what you want because it sure as heck fire ain't just gonna fall right into your lap. You go talk to her, okay? Don't be nervous and just be yourself, okay? Yeah. I'm scared. This is gonna be scary. Pretty good at this, aren't you I? Are, that was great. <laughs> I got you a little something. Oh, that's so sweet. You know what that is? Yes, it's a, it's a helmet. It's a big helmet. <laughs> I think, you know, it might just be better if you wear that every day. It's perfect. I'm really sorry about everything that happened. What do you mean? For what? Because her friends suck. I mean, except for, you know, all the people dying and when they were bleeding on us and everything. That wasn't so much fun, but I enjoyed every minute that I got to spend with you. I just wanted to let you know that I... I feel the same. BJ! Why did he punch her? Should we go help her? Hell no. Why, 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 how did a pickup line turn into him punching her and dragging her away? I have never seen more chaos in one film. That was good. That was, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with that though. So I just finished watching Tucker and Dale vs. Evil and it was a lot of fun to watch. This was one of those films that was so uniquely done story-wise, plot-wise, character-wise. It was just so different for a horror comedy and that's such an odd mix. Um, I thought that everybody's performance was actually really good. Tucker and Dale, you know, Alan and Tyler, they did wonderful with their roles. There were so many things going on. I feel like this movie. I'm looking into this movie way deeper than I should, but I love doing that. With Tucker and Dale, they're lifelong friends, and it seemed like Tucker was almost jealous of Dale. He was better than Tucker in certain ways. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. So this movie, like, low-key focused on Dale's you know, um, growth as a character and as an individual, I thought that was really heartwarming. And then it turned into a love story and it's like, good for him. I thought it was gonna be a very simple, like, oh, stupid people get murdered kind of movie. But it was so much deeper than that. It was heartwarming and it was nice and it was hilarious and kids just threw themselves into wood chippers. <laughs> he literally can't. That scene where he threw himself into the wood chipper is never gonna leave my mind. He didn't even try to stab Tucker. He just, he hated his college classes and just right into it. So I really liked, you know, their relationship together. The fact that everything that could go wrong was going wrong. It was just such a mess and it was hilarious. And I 
I felt like, you know, Chad was a Chad was a bad guy just by the way he was talking to people, talking about how he's better than everyone, trying desperately to get with Allison, and then was just like throwing the like it wasn't a tomahawk, but throwing the axe like to show he was a cool guy. Like what a weird hobby. I don't know. I just gotta say this was one of the funniest movies I have seen in a long time. Actually, no, I've seen a few really funny ones, but this was hilarious and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I gotta give this like a solid 8.5 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10. And I'm surprised I've never seen it. I'm surprised I have never even seen clips because this is gold. Um, I really, really, you know what? I know you guys enjoy it because this movie was fire. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.